Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The deep cervical flexor muscles are also known as the deep neck flexor muscles. This is a group of four muscles. All of them are located bilaterally and they are located in the cervical spine. The cervical spine is the medical name for the neck. These muscles consist of the longus capitis, the longus cervicus, which is also known as the longus coli, the rectus capitis anterior, and the rectus capitis lateralis. The longus capitis originates on the anterior tubercles of the transverse processes of C3 through C6. It inserts in the inferior surfaces of the basilar portion of the occiput, and its concentric action when contracted bilaterally is cervical flexion. The longus cervicus, which again is also known as the longus coli, originates on the anterior vertebral bodies of T1 and T3 in the anterior tubercles of the transverse processes of C3 through C7. It inserts in the anterior arch of the atlas in the anterior aspect of the vertebral bodies of C2 through C4. Its concentric action when contracted bilaterally is cervical flexion. The rectus capitis anterior originates on the anterior surface of the lateral mass of the atlas and the root of the transverse process. It inserts in the inferior surface of the occiput anterior to the foramen magnum. The concentric action is cervical flexion. The rectus capitis lateralis has an origin on the superior surface of the TP of the atlas. It inserts into the inferior surface of the jugular process of the occiput. Its concentric action when contracted bilaterally is to stabilize the head